Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make red velvet waffles with a raspberry and cream cheese sauce. This was absolutely amazing, and I love how pretty it came out. I'm really excited to show you guys, so let's get started with the video. Begin by chopping one cup or a half a cup of pecans. When you're finished, set your chopped pecans to the side. Then, in a small pan over medium heat, add some butter. When your butter has melted, add your chopped pecans. Proceed to toast your pecans for 5 to 7 minutes. When you're finished, set your toasted pecans to the side. Next, in a small saucepan, add 6 ounces of raspberries, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 1 and 1 fourth teaspoon of lemon juice, and one tablespoon of water. Proceed to cook your raspberry mixture over medium heat for three to seven minutes. If you feel like your raspberry sauce isn't thick enough, you can go ahead and add a cornstarch slurry, which is basically just one part cornstarch, one part water. When your raspberry sauce is finished cooking, take it off the heat and pour it through a fine mesh strainer. When you've finished, set your raspberry sauce to the side. Now we're going to make our cream cheese glaze. In a bowl, add four ounces of softened cream cheese and one fourth cup of softened butter. As you can see, I left my butter in the microwave a bit too long. Now, cream your butter and cream cheese together. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and gradually add one cup of powdered sugar. After that, add 1 fourth cup of milk and then mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your cream cheese glaze to the side. Now we're going to make some brown butter. In a small saucepan, melt one stick of butter over medium heat. Continue to cook your butter until it bubbles and then starts to foam. You'll know your brown butter is ready when it becomes brown and has a nutty aroma to it. Make sure to occasionally stir your butter while cooking it. When your brown butter is finished cooking, take it off the heat. Then, pour your brown butter through a fine mesh strainer. When you're finished, set your butter to the side to cool. Next, in a large bowl, sift together one and three-fourths cup of flour, one and one-half teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one-half teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of cocoa powder.
When you're finished, set your dry ingredients to the side. Now separate three eggs. Now take your egg whites and whip them until they are stiff. When you're finished, set your egg whites to the side. In another large bowl, add your egg yolks and 1 3rd cup of sugar. Cream your egg yolks and sugar together until they become a light yellow color. Then add your brown butter. Mix your brown butter in until everything is well combined. When you're finished, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of white vinegar, two tablespoons of red food coloring, and one and three fourths cup of buttermilk. Mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your white ingredients to the side. Now in the bowl with your dry ingredients, create a well. Then pour your wet ingredients in the center of the well. Gently whisk your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients. But make sure not to over mix it. It should be really lumpy. Then gradually fold in your egg whites. Once you've finished making your batter, you can go ahead and make your waffles. Grease your waffle iron with butter. Then add one cup of your waffle batter. Depending on the size or shape of your waffle iron, you may need more or less batter. Once you've added your batter, go ahead and spread it out. Then add your toasted pecans. Adding pecans in your waffles is totally optional. I just do it because I really like pecans. Once you're finished, go ahead and cook your waffle. Once your waffle is finished cooking, take it out of the waffle iron and then repeat that process until you run out of batter. Once you've finished making all of your waffles, you can go ahead and plate them up. To decorate my waffles, I basically just added my cream cheese glaze, then I added my raspberry sauce, after that I added some fruits, powdered sugar,
a mint. And some more fruit. And this is the finished product. I'm like extremely happy with how this came out. It tasted really good. The cream cheese glaze and the raspberry sauce went well with the waffles. And the waffles even had that red velvet flavor, like it tasted like red velvet cake. So I'm really happy about that too. I made this up on a whim, so the fact that it came out exactly how I imagined it in my head is super cool. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!